What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing another lead code challenge called Matrix Cells in Distance Order. I'm going to try to do a lead code every single day, whether it's e uh, probably just easy. I'll try to finish up easy and then I'll do one every single day and then if worst case scenario once a day, if not uh, uh, at once a week, but I'll try to do once once a day and then if I could get make more, if I could do more than once a day, that'll be good. If I can't, then whatever. But yeah, we're gonna do matrix cells in distance order. Uh, I already did this question, so I'm gonna actually delete this, and then I'll show you guys how I did it. So you're given a matrix with row R rows and C columns, and it has cells with integer coordinates R C, where zero is less than equal to R, which is less than to R, and zero is less than equal to C, which is less than to C. This is just saying that you have a matrix of R and C columns, R rows and C columns, and then each cell is just like 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, uh, 1, 0, 1, 1, up to RC. That's what it means. Okay, that's what this means. You want to return the coordinates of all cells in the matrix sorted by their distance from R0, C0, okay? So you want to sort it by smallest distance, largest distance, and the distance between them is just the Manhattan distance. So you're going to subtract R1 from R2 plus C1 minus C2, and you use the absolute value of these two. So yeah, that's what you're going to do. Uh, I'm going to assume that you guys already tried this, so I'm going to do this right now with you guys. So we're trying to sort these by Manhattan distance. So first, I'm going to create a vector. Uh, right here, I'm going to create a vector, whoops, vector, vector int, and then this is going to be the to return. This is what we're going to return. What am I going to do first? I'm going to go through every single row and every single column. Okay, this is going to go through every row and column, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to push back the current row and column, and then I'm going to calculate the distance. So how do I calculate the distance? I'm going to do distance is equal to uh, R0 minus I plus R0, uh, C0 minus J. Okay, so the I and J just represents the current row and column. Sorry, there's an ambulance, but that's what this is for. And I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do the uh, absolute value, so ABS. Okay, so this is basically just getting the distance of R0 and R1 and C0 and C1 based on this. This is just gonna go, th I and J just goes through every single row and column. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to crew basically add each row and column and then the distance it took into my to return, which is uh, my vector of vectors, my matrix. So it's going to, uh, what the, this, this notation, IJ, uh, this notation of having brackets, that's just an easier way to create a vector that has these values. So Basically, I'm just going to add a new array that has the row, the column, and the, dis the distance. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort. I'm going to sort the array by beginning and end. And then I'm going to do this new notation. This is basically, I'm going to pass in a comparator that is a function that lets you do that. Um, in this comparator, it's going to take in two values. It's going to take in first, and then a vector containing second. So that's just going to represent the the two two arrays I'm going to compare to. Okay. So how am I going to sort this? I'm going to sort it by this comparator function, and this comparator function is just going to take the, the smallest distance. So given my first two arrays, i got to make this pass by reference. I'm going to return the smallest distance, which in this case, it would be first at the second, and second at second. 
Uh, the reason why it's two is because it's the second value of our array. Whenever we added values, right? Whenever we added this each row, we added the row, column, and the distance. So I'm sorting it by the distance. And distance is at the index 0, 1, 2. That's what this is for. So this is going to return the array that has, oh, that's what this value is. It's going to return the array based on the having the the distance compared. The smallest distance is going to compare that. And that's going to sort this by smallest distance. After that, we're going to go through um, every, we're going to go through every of our vector again. So this is a uh, current. We we'll go through every single vector in our to return. And what we're going to do is we are going to pop back the last value. Reason why we're going to do that is because we want to get rid of all the last distance. So for every for every vector inside our matrix of two return, we're going to try to get rid of this distance now. Popback is going to remove the distance from it cuz once we sorted it by distance, we don't need it anymore. We just uh, that's why we want to re remove it. So yeah, I'm going to use popback and remove this distance. Okay. Let's run the code. and it got the expected value. Let's submit it. And it got accepted. So yeah, that's that's a way how you would do it. There's, that's one way you could do this question. Another way you could do it is using bucket sort. Another way you could do it using breadth first search. I think this is much easier because you're actually calling the sorting function instead of actually creating your own sorting. But yeah, that's how you would do this question. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. I'm going to do another question and then yeah.